Hello there guys, this is Stranger Hunter 9 um, and I'm making this very special video as an update slash um, follow-up to my Halo 2 Connect, Connect with a C um, video. Uh, this video, even though it hasn't gotten a large amount of views for the total of YouTube, has gotten a large amount of views for me. Um, a lot of people have posted positive comments talking about you know that I did a decent job at you know explaining how to set up Halo 2 Connect and to be able to play on the original Xbox Halo 2 gameplay. I wanted to announce that I am planning on making a future series of videos as the Master Chief Collection comes out but I wanted to make this video basically urging you. I just want to give you just give me a few minutes of your time and we're going to discuss some of the things that has happened since Halo 2 um, in FPS games and why I believe that if you purchase one game this year you should purchase the Master Chief Collection coming out this November. Um, why would a lot of people um, you know spend countless hours of time uh, a little bit of difficulty download some software uh, you know hook up their computer to the Xbox why would they do that to play Halo 2? The thing that you have to realize is that a lot of people did not play Halo 2, maybe played a little bit of Halo 3. Uh, they don't really understand the draw of these games, why they're so good. Now, a lot of the people that have watched um, Halo 2 Connect either want to experience that, or they are a little bit confused. Maybe they've heard their friends talk about it, and they want to understand what's different about Halo 2, Halo 3 to modern shooters let's say like Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost, um, anything really in the modern era because there's not actually that much difference which is what I'm going to be talking about. So you know a lot of people make discussion videos but I just wanted to basically cut the bullshit that's in a lot of videos and I, I excuse me in the language department there will be some uh, I have strong opinions on this issue. Back in Halo 2, Halo 3 a game pretty much thought that um, your skill should be visible to everyone else, should fluctuate depending on your performance, and should be very accurate to the level of skill you actually have in the game. Now, over time, for whatever reason, and we all know the reason, guys. We all know the reason. Because they want to make more money. This has just completely gotten lost in games. Completely gotten lost. In fact, I don't know a single game that is, is actually in the current rotation. I mean, Halo 3 is still online, technically, so you can kind of say that's still there. But I don't know a single game that actually has a specific rank system where you get promoted or demoted based on your performance on consoles anymore. I don't know of a single game any of the Battlefield series, any of the Call of Duty series, almost every other FPS, and I've, I've played them all, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. I was an FPS junkie. I played them all. And, you know, everything in the PS3, Xbox 360, and especially in the new console generation does not use the system anymore. And the reason is, is that a lot of people don't have that much time to put in a game. And for whatever reason, they feel like they should be validated just as much as somebody who does put a lot of time in the game. Which, in my opinion, is just flat out wrong. Now, they shouldn't be at any disadvantage, but the knowledge, the skill, and the, you know, the amount of time that somebody devotes in a game should be reflected. But it should be reflected by a fair measure. The person just being better rather than an artificial measure. And see, a lot of games today, guys, have used artificial measures now. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, they'll give you a really overpowered DLC weapon, for instance, for pre-ordering the game. Um, just to completely put this out there, so that I don't get this type of comment, and I understand if you comment this, but it's just simply not true, guys. I have enjoyed Call of Duty. I enjoyed Black Ops 1 tremendously. I thought Modern Warfare 2 was broken because of the new tube and they would not fix it. 
I thought Black Ops 2 was a moderately good game. Modern Warfare 3 felt a little bit unoriginal, uninspired. It felt just like Modern Warfare 2, basically. Um, but just, it, it lost a little bit of something. And then Call of Duty Ghosts was one of the worst games I've ever played. Absolutely atrocious, to be honest with you. Um, Battlefield, I feel like, has suffered a terrible, terrible, terrible digression. And I'm just going to put this out there for you guys. The only thing I'm a, a basher against, I'm not a basher against COD, I'm not a basher against Battlefield, I'm a basher of EA and what they do to game companies. Um, I feel like Battlefield has just gone downhill. Just look at Bad Company 2 and then look all the way to Battlefield 4 and just see the series go downhill. Even you could say, you know, Battlefield 1942, 1943 was better than later parts of the series way more balanced so i don't know what happened there but ea probably had a part to do with it in my opinion but anyway guys back onto the topic the reason that you should purchase the master chief collection is this is one this is our only chance guys i'm just going to be honest with you let's lay it on the line this is our only chance to prove that competitive skill-based games can sell okay this is a one chance to get good games back I'm just going to be honest with you. If you have not played Halo 2, if you have not played Halo 3, then you haven't really played. You, the shooter caliber of that and everything that came after it is not really even in the same galaxy, guys. I'm just going to tell you that right now. It's just like if you try coffee and then you go to cocaine. You're not going to go back to coffee. It's just that simple. Okay? Just take something... I don't care what it is, it's that big of a difference. It's that big of a difference. It's not a little small difference. It's not that it was somewhat better. It was better in every conceivable way. Um, and it was better because it rewarded skill. It didn't give you this uneven starting advantage. You never felt like you had a dominant advantage just for playing a long time other than I'm just better. And that's what's going to cause me to win the match, guys just being better that's what you know a lot of sports the same thing happens you know you get a sport and it's so exciting to watch it's so invigorating and then it just kind of something happens it just gets mass marketed and it loses its appeal i personally practiced judo for quite a few years i love judo but the same thing is happening in judo why it's so important for you to purchase the master chief collection is because Halo 5 right now is on the precipice between being Halo 4 and Halo 3. And for those of you who don't know the difference, guys, it's basically between being a piece of art and a piece of crap. Uh, that's as simple as that. I'm going to go into why Halo 4 was a massive failure in another video if I get the time. I really want to go over that. I want to say it's not hated, but I will say this. I will say this, guys. I have the original copy of Halo 3 that I ever bought. I have the original copy of Halo 2. I paid almost a hundred US dollars for a copy of Halo 4. I then bought a second copy just to have two copies because I believed in the game so much. That's how much I loved Halo 2 and Halo 3. I believed in Halo 4. I sold my limited edition Halo 4 for two dollars at GameStop the other day. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. That a total fan can say it is actually just a total sellout. It's as simple as that, guys. It's a total sellout. It's not Halo at all. Just play the campaign and forget about everything else. Because everything else is utter crap. So, why should you buy the Master Chief Collection? Guys, if you haven't played Halo 2, Halo 3 gameplay before, and you like FPS, you owe it to yourself. You fucking owe it to yourself. To play this game. It may be the only chance you ever get in the Xbox One generation, the PS4 generation, whatever, this new generation. It may be the only chance you ever get to have a skill-based shooter that actually your rank goes up and your rank goes down, depending on your performance. It almost blows people's minds now. Like, how can my skill go down? Don't I just farm experience? Isn't this an MMO? 
No, it's not, guys. It's not an MMO. I'm not trying to bash MMOs. I like MMOs. A little bit. But that's completely beside the point. This is not an MMO. It's a, it's a competitive, skill-based shooter, which means your rank has to be able to go up and down. If you're just filling an XP bar, then you've done something wrong. It's that simple. Um... It is the most addictive game I've ever played. Halo 2, Halo 3, I played more than any other game by countless amount of times. All you need to do is just simply go play. And Halo 2, Halo 3, I'm going to go into the distinctions there. I believe both are of equally perfect 10 out of 10s. Perfect 10 out of 10s. It's that simple. Perfect 10 out of 10s. Because I played literally... Halo 3, in my opinion is my favorite. But that's just an opinion. It doesn't mean I think it's better. I think Halo 2 is probably better. But I prefer Halo 3. But that doesn't matter. What's important is that there's nothing that I would change except for one thing in each game. And this is why they're still perfect 10 out of 10s. Neither one of them was wrong in what they did. Because they made good sense and they did it. Halo 2 had the hit scan BR. Now, the hit scan BR, in my opinion, was better than the wheel bullets of Halo Fleet. However, 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 the addition of bumper jumper and more control schemes in Halo Fleet more than makes up for this, in my opinion. Bumper jumper is the only control system in any game ever that I felt like I was a physical embodiment of my character that's how good it is it's as simple as that that's exactly what every single game designer is trying to do total immersion soundtrack perfect gameplay perfect graphics perfect you don't have to have the most realistic graphics you know you have a lot of games now that are just trying to put graphical fluff they're trying. Oh yeah, look at these particle effects. Look, look at the look at look at black flakes going. Look at that particle effects. If you shoot a rocket, you have a particle effects or destructible environments or all these other things, which are very cool, very cool. But if the gameplay is unbalanced, what the fuck do I care about particle effects? Do you see what I'm saying here? I mean, people were playing, you know, FPS since Counter-Strike, and even before that, but I'm just saying maybe competitive FPSs for over 10 years. And they've been playing it because it's a competitive experience, and they get that adrenaline rush from it. Not because of particle effects. So, I really want to hear you guys' comments, but I really urge you guys, please, 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 really think about it. If there's any other game that even looks decent and you're on the fence, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that it is my opinion, if you could only buy one game in the next five years, I want you to go out and buy the Halo Master Chief Collection. I think that it is personally our best chance, perhaps our only chance, honestly. That's, I think, what's the truth. It is our only chance, guys, of ever showing the people in power that, hey, this competitive skill system actually has some fans, and maybe we'll make some games like that because they tend to make good money. If if this does not sell well, then COD's XP system from COD 4 is just going to steamroll everything else, and in one to two more years, there's going to be zero difference. Look at Call of Duty Ghost now. You have bigger maps. Soon they're going to have vehicles. Battlefield's going to have vehicles. Halo is going to be all big vehicle maps. It's all going to just be this big, vehicle-y, uh, particle effect show where there's a lot of pretty flashing lights, but no substance. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, definitely leave in the comments what you think. I'm sorry it's been so long since I made a video, you know, real life things. But I have a great love for Halo. If you have not experienced the adrenaline long rush, from playing in 4v4 competitive Halo. Play the MLG playlist. If you haven't experienced that, 
then you have an experience gaming. It's that good. That's what I'm telling you. It's the best experience I've had on the console. Thanks, guys. And this is Stranger 109, out.